Hey guys, Mike here. So I'm going to show you how to do an easy DIY concrete patio slab. This is going to be a 15 by 12 slab. It's going to be 6 inches thick. It's on about a foot of good gravel base that you can see has been well compacted. We're going to be using 2 by 6s to form the slab up. It's going to have a mat of rebar in it, 2 feet on center. So I'm going to show you the forming process here and the pouring process just how we do it this is like I said this is an easy patio slab you could use a slab like this for just about anything a hot tub you could use it for a shed but for this for this case we're going to use it as a concrete patio coming off the back deck of this house so right now we're going to do the forming process T and I are going to get this formed up Now I tend to use a little bit longer form than the slab size and I'll just run the ends by on each side like you see here. That way I don't get into cutting a lot of my planks and I can use them over and over again. So what I'm doing now is I'm just measuring out my size, marking it, and that's going to give me my mark that I screw the, all the corners together from. Now I'm just measuring off the deck just to make sure I'm the exact same measurement off the deck and then I'll square the slab to that. They're going to build a, a couple set of wooden steps down onto the patio so we don't have to worry about the step being too high right here. And once I have my form in place I'm just going to stake it so it doesn't move. We do a ton of these DIY what I call a DIY easy concrete slab a year we probably do 40 or 50 of them and then you know for whatever reason either a patio like this a shed a hot tub a small single bay garage but we do a lot of these type of slabs if you want to learn how to do slabs like this I actually have a course step by step where I teach people how to do concrete slabs down in the description below so you hit the little show more button down in the bottom of the video and that brings up all the links to everything that I have all my courses so you could check that out if you want now T and I are just squaring it and making sure the slab is perfectly square so we always measure our diagonals to make sure it's the same measurement each way and we'll just slide the form one way until we get the same diagonal.
And once I have all the pins in place and the forms are all they're all secure, now I can set my grade. So I'm just shooting a few shots on the gravel, and then I'll move my receiver down six inches, and that'll give me my top of form grade. And then we'll just screw the forms right to that using the laser. We're going to tie in a two foot on center mat or rebar. We're using 3 8 rebar here. I got my big bolt cutters today. I got, I got a big gas saw I use usually when we have big slabs I'll cut this stuff with. But today I'm just going to cut them with my bolt cutters. It, it cuts pretty easy with these cutters. I don't have many cuts to make. So I got to cut some. If it's 15 by 12, you know, I'll go like 14 foot one way and 11 foot the other way. And then T and I are just going to wire tie them all together. And then the morning before the pour, we'll put some bricks under them to elevate it up into the slab. We use these loop ties and what's called a yo-yo to tie the rebar together. It's pretty fast. It's just the way we've always done it. You know, we don't have, we don't tie a ton of rebar. Otherwise, we'd probably have rebar tires. So this is for us. This is the next best way. You can see you just slide the wire under the cross, 
bend it up and then you hook it with the yo-yo and spin it around it ties it right together nice and tight So I got three and a half yards of 4,000 PSI concrete. We got fiber mesh in the concrete too. You can see we broke up some brick and put it under the rebar to keep it up into the slab. And we always have fiber mesh and water reducer in the concrete too to you just give it a little added reinforcement and keep the water cement ratio low so the concrete stays nice and strong. We gotta use a power buggy today because this is out behind the house. And there's actually a fence here too that we got to go through so it just made pouring it a little easier no need for a pump here three and a half yards the pump would have been four times the amount of money that this power buggy was so we're just power bugging this around it took us about 15 to 20 minutes to actually get this power buggy um which wasn't really too too long i didn't think Pretty easy way to pour it actually.
So look, make sure you come on back for part two to see just what we did for a finish on this. Out part two will be coming out the very next video. And also, again, if you want to learn, like I said, how to do a concrete slab, a DIY concrete slab like this yourself, I got step-by-step -step video instructions, a video tutorial down in the description below. You can check that out. You can also join the Concrete Underground. I have the slab course in there, too, where I teach you how to do all different types of concrete like we do. So make sure you check that out, guys. And if you haven't subscribed yet, if you've, if you've watched this much of the video, please go down there and hit subscribe. Hit the like button. That also helps me out, too. Darren's going to finish up bow floating this. Luke's going to mag the edges. Then Darren will mag his edges nice and smooth where he picked that bow float up. And then we just got to let this sit for a little bit before we finish it. So we're going to put a special finish on this type of patio for these guys. And then... They're going to end up putting a, a pretty big hot tub on this eventually. So it's going to be a really nice looking patio when we're done. So make sure you come on back and check that out.